Ionic compounds are made of a positive metal ion and a negative non-metal ion. Take the compound aluminium oxide, commonly found in bauxite ore. It contains positive aluminium ions with a charge of plus 3 and negative oxygen ions with a charge of minus 2. Electrolysis uses electricity to split the metal ions from the non-metal ions and then turns them both into neutral atoms. This allows us to extract pure aluminium. So how exactly does electrolysis work? Firstly, we heat our aluminium oxide to 1000 degrees so that it melts. This is called our electrolyte. Now when molten, the ions are able to flow and be separated into metal ions and non-metal ions. We then place two electrodes or conducting rods into our electrolyte, which is attached to a DC power supply. The positive electrode is called the anode and the negative electrode is called the cathode. The negative oxygen ions are attracted to the positive anode and the positive aluminium ions are attracted to the negative cathode. Now firstly, let's see what happens at the cathode. Well, the cathode contains excess electrons that have flowed from the battery. A positive aluminium ion gains three electrons from the cathode and becomes a neutral aluminium atom. When a positive ion gains electrons, this is called reduction. This can be represented by an ionic half equation. This ionic half equation shows a plus three aluminium ion gaining three electrons and becoming a neutral atom. But what happens when negative oxygen ions are attracted to the positive anode? Well, an oxygen ion loses two of its electrons to the anode and becomes a neutral oxygen atom. And because oxygen likes to be in pairs, it bonds with another oxygen atom to become a diatomic oxygen molecule. When a negative ion loses electrons, this is called oxidation. This ionic half equation shows two minus two oxygen ions losing a total of four electrons to become a neutral oxygen molecule. The oxygen then bubbles to the top, while the molten aluminium sinks to the bottom to be collected. So to summarise, electrolysis means splitting up ionic compounds using electricity. The substance being split is called the electrolyte and must either be molten or dissolved so that the ions can flow to both electrodes. The positive metal ions are attracted to the negative cathode where they gain electrons to become neutral metal atoms. This is called reduction and the negative non-metal ions are attracted to the positive anode where they lose electrons to become neutral non-metal atoms. This is called oxidation. And if you ever forget which one is which, use the acronym oil rig. Oxidation is the loss of electrons and reduction is the gain of electrons. But sadly, electrolysis becomes more complicated when your ionic compound is dissolved in water instead of being molten. But watch the next video to learn exactly how it works.